It is 4.15 a.m. I am just now getting up, ready for work. I don't leave until 5.20, but I, uh, it's been a fun job, and I don't usually do things like film myself at work, but it's been a fun job. I've had a close drive, which has happened to be an hour. I figured I could film a day in the life of a cement finisher, union cement finisher, kind of show you guys buildings, stuff like that. I don't know why. I'm uh, I'm just gonna try to film this and hopefully it becomes something. I uh, that's what I got for now. So it's time to wake up. Need coffee injected into my veins immediately, and we'll start with that. Okay. Good morning. A little extra splash for Razzle Dazzle. Those are dried carrots. Sheesh. Now we're talking. I guess I'm not your average trades dude. Because usually in the morning I wake up and I read a book. Try to get my mind right. Find the peace in the now before the chaos. While I hang with my buddies. And I listen to my bird friends chirp. Cheat, cheat. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Uh, cheat, cheat. With union work comes a lot of driving, and any union dude will tell you that. Unless they've been a company man locally, most of the work you gotta drive to it. And that's totally okay, because it's worth it. If you truly, truly have your shit together, then you don't have to stop every morning at one of those old fuel stations, one of those old uh, monst monster stocking stations, you gotta get your your shit together. I don't have time to stop in the morning for willy-nilly playfulness. There's no grab ass when it comes to hitting the road. Unless you need gas, but typically that's every few days for me. But as far as getting roller dogs, or buying a gallon of water every day, or buying my coffee, all that is pre-made and pre-packaged at La Casa de la Harvard Howler. So I'm finally here. Get here a half an hour early so that I can get my tools out, walk to the site, just kind of get ready for the pour. I just saw cement trucks are here early, 6.30. We don't start till seven, but they try to pour a little early. Get that extra 10 minutes out of you. That's that union mentality. And yeah, I'm hopped up on caffeine. A lot of these guys get here fucking 45 to an hour early so they can take a nap, but they're old and I'm young. I don't do that. I get ready. I'm hyped. Day in the life, day in the life. Throw one go. Get out. Straight up. Blasting us at 627. Here we go. It's time to get cuckoo. This is a building. I have a feeling it will be an Amazon building. We are pouring the floors. I work the edges, the start of the pour, and I strike around the columns. I'll do my best to show you, but this is the not screwing around club. We got the trucks ready. We're not pouring yet. What's up, man? But they're uh they're mixing concrete getting it ready laborers are ready it's time to get active
waiting for the next column. So I'm eating. There's the lazy guys. But hey, it's a good day. That's how it goes. Halfway and the service is screwed up. Slow pour, that means overtime. The pour is done. Now we're hitting the edges, see? Whoa. You work your way down, and it looks like that. Cool stuff, huh? Wacky day. I try my best to film stuff for you guys, but you know what? We got so busy, I couldn't film too much, but that's, uh, that's how you pour a concrete floor for a building that I think is gonna be for Amazon. Cut early, two o'clock, usually stay till 4.30, but hey, it's Friday. And that means I get to get to my nicotine a little bit quicker, so we're gonna stop at this gas station that I've been driving by on a, the road I take into the town I head to for work, because I wanna see what the hoopla's about. They're always busy. A lot of cuckoo's nests. Absolutely insane. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just your standard BP, but it's got a Duncan and slots. People are playing slots, it's two in the afternoon, 2.30, what are you guys doing playing slots? You should have a job. And be like me, or leave early, you know, go home to your home, play slots on your phone or something, man. Don't waste your entire life doing that. Ridiculous, I say. But now you know. Next to a nice pretty plaza, picked up a uh, a Red Bull instead of a Monsty, and I uh, I seen the latest You Betcha video with the uh, construction workers, and yes, it is true, construction workers do leave the job site to go to the gas station, but real workers do not leave to go to the gas station. They wait until after work to go to the gas station. You gotta earn it. You can't just leave work. Sheesh. Usually about this time, it's 4.30, I head home and I work out, but it's 2.30, so I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna work out. Same shit. What's up with people buying alcohol from gas stations? That's another thing that always blows my mind. Why are you paying primo dollars for the stuff that you can get at Walmart, Jewel, or your local whatever? I don't understand why you're wasting that kind of money, because if you do have to stop at a gas station to get your alcohol, that means you're drinking more often than you should be. But at least buy it smart. But maybe you're drunk and you don't know. But has anyone else ever noticed that people who leave the gas station with a 12er or a 24er and it's always it's always tense you know like buying condoms there too it's very tense you know you, you're wondering if people are looking at you if they think you're a drunk or if you're a virgin one of those things yeah i've never understood why those are sold there I, I just go to a liquor store go to a place where you can save money come on be smart these fellas are golfing that could be me but it's not and that's okay at least the sun's out it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood where I'm at. So I work out in my garage, as you can see, I cut my hair. And that's always after I work all day. You have to work out. If you don't take care of your body, then you're cuckoo. Even though I drink enough Coors Light to kill a horse, which you may see later, I'm still in my gym doing my thing. You have to. So I just got done filing my taxes, because that's smart to do on Fridays. I had like 25 W-2s, because I was bouncing out of my hall. And it's silly, because then you have to do your taxes. I did TurboTax, and it was a nightmare for an hour, but I got it done. Now, we're about to eat some tacos, and then we have to make a beer run, because I forgot to get beer and Coors Seltzer for Hannah. Yeah. Yeah, messed up. Stay tuned. Okay. After a long day's work, pouring concrete, dealing with silly people every day, when we sit down at this table and eat this food, it is so, so rewarding. Right, Hannah? Yeah. Feels good. It's like my favorite time of the day. You get to eat tasty food. See? Got a couple of tacos. Hannah's got the same thing with the sauce. And it makes it all worth it. Usually during the week, if it's not a Friday, we'll hit the couch afterwards. I'll fall asleep in 10 minutes. That's the truth. Sticking by it. But today is a different day. We have to make a beer run, like I said. But first, we have to enjoy this food. 
I know I said earlier that it's weird to buy alcohol from gas stations and considering I forgot, we're gonna go to the gas station in our neighborhood to pick up our alcohol and spend, I think like $2 more, but that adds up. Isn't it like kind of shameful to walk into an area in a gas station, pick out alcohol or condoms or other weird stuff like that and then check out and it's like this weird exchange with the clerk? I just think it's more expensive. Yeah, I know. That's how that, I feel. I know, but then you got somebody who's ringing up your beer at 2 in the afternoon. because you, you your couldn't, condoms. Yeah, or your condoms. <laughs> at 2 in the afternoon at a random gas station, and you know in their head, they're like, couldn't you just buy this by your house, or why didn't you get this on your grocery list? Whoa. Well, we bought the alcohol. I only spent $1.50 extra, so that's not bad. But it was shameful. And as we spoke about it at the dinner table, it's never a good look. Gas, Monsties, Smokies. That's a gas station. I don't know why they serve anything more than that. Like all the fucking snacks. Someone was in there, they bought two Rippets and a pack of Sour Patch Kids. Who knows what they're getting in there. They probably need a ton of condoms. And now we're here, we made it. So this was a day in the life of a cement mason. And that is pretty much how shit goes, people, but yeah, you come home and you crack one with the Cubs game on and it's 4-0, hopefully they win. And this this time I haven't searched the game because like they replay it the next day, I'll search the game to see if there's a live game and then they tell me the score. So it's like why I haven't watched it if I know the score. But yeah, day in the life, you see it. Hopefully the video makes sense. I'd like to make more videos, but it's tough. I hate when you buy, and of course it's warm beer. That's probably a gas station thing. You just get fucking warm beer if you buy from there. But yeah, so I'll edit this, throw it up there, and hopefully it all comes together. So thank you, Hannah, for filming, and thanks, guys, for watching. Leave your comments, concerns, likes and dislikes in my crotch area. Not too low, though. And hopefully I make another video soon. Day in the life of a cement mason. Now you know. Bye.